You ready? So you warmed up? So ready. What? I can, what is this? You're warmed up. You're like a fire. I can keep my. <laughs> it's not a mirror. <laughs> I don't know. I'm what like, are we, are we, we doing making a gonna... synergy? What is happening? I've never seen it before. <laughs> you want to pass the energy back and forth? It's like, yeah, and then you just pass uh, it around to like other people. Yeah, exactly. The energy. Yeah. Remember, like in. Drama class. The drama class, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pass the energy. <laughs> or like, what is it, Dragon Ball Z? And they... <laughs> yeah. Whatever, nerd. Whoa. <laughs> that was really hard. That was... I'm, trying that to was fire, really I'm trying to fire hard. you up. You're better when you're angry. <laughs> I think I'm just sad now. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to your neighborhood friendly cold show. Applause. Yay, yay, Applause. no? Yay. Man, you gotta work for it. You gotta work for you it. You really gotta work for yeah, it. Yeah, tough audience. Jeez. My name is Neil. I'm Sandra. And I'm Caleb. Woo and we're back at you to talk about all things fun, pop culture, goodness, movies, music, TV. Uh, food even sometimes comes up once in a while. Occasionally a video game. Video game? A video game. We were just talking about cat testicles just a couple minutes ago, so... Who knows? You never know what you're you going to get. You know. Um, this is a very special episode, too. It is special. We have a guest. We have a guest coming on. Somehow we, we wrangled someone to come back again. I know. So it's that's kind of pretty, funny pretty how exciting. that happens. Yeah. Every once in a while, they come back. But, you know, um, got some exciting news. Really? Yeah. Wow. You're you know what? You're pregnant? That's not, no, this, this does not breed while in captivity. Okay. No. no, even better. Okay, hit me. I'm pregnant. Oh my God! Yay. Gender reveal party. <laughs> um, no, it was just your birthday. That's true. It was facts. All, These are facts. <laughs> we're sharing it with our friends. We are. Yeah, happy birthday. Friends. Happy birthday, Neil. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm, What'd I, you do I, for your birthday? Uh, <laughs> hint, hint, hint. Let's see. I got older. <laughs> my back hurt. Yeah. Um, I was waiting for you to get to the part where we all hung out. Oh, actually. right. So, I wasn't just listening to you like list your fucking complaints. <laughs> no, like, no, 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 no. These are what happened on my you birthday. You know what? You're alive. You're alive and you're here and you're above ground. You're right. I'm a thankful Those creature. Those are good things. Yeah. But yeah, we went to um, comedy show. You mm -hmm. and your husband mm -hmm. and Caleb and my wife and mm -hmm. I went to a comedy show. We saw Phil Johnson, who was our yes. old friend from the show, who yeah. came on. You might remember oh from our pirate episode. Oh my God, it was so funny. And we sat in the very front row. We did because we're big fans. Right in the middle. Yeah. yeah. And it was wonderful spending time with you guys. So thank you, thank you for That's being there. That's what we were waiting thank for. You. Was that? Thank you. That part. That thank you. Um, so guess what? What? Somebody sits right over there. Got you a birthday present. Really? Yeah. In a box? Yeah. It's shaped I, I, somewhat similar to. Uh... <laughs> it does say fragile on it. <laughs> Should I open it now then? You have to open Please. it now. That's the whole point. Please. That'd be weird if we're like, here's something in a box for you not to unbox. Should I close my eyes or? No. It's fragile. Be you careful. do you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it now. I was like, I don't, I don't get it. Matches. Oh, why did you do that? Matches. You don't need no mm. stinking. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Not the wind. I do. It's very round. <laughs> Cylindrical. Cylindrical. Oh, shizzed bat. <laughs> <laughs> it is a Freddy Krueger candle from the <laughs> Illuminati. Illumi <laughs> Illuminatal. 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 The Illuminati sent you a candle. They're the show. Neil yeah, is right. such an Illuminati too. You know, what? I like, called him the reptilian elite, but I think he's actually Illuminati. <laughs> Comment same, below. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. What do you believe below? Let us know. Is Neil? <laughs> is Neil a reptile? Am I a V? <laughs> or like the same thing Beyonce and all them are? How was it? That Thank you very much, Caleb. You're beautiful. Very For the studio audience, you guys know I'm a huge Freddy Krueger fan. Yes. So Caleb got me a Freddy Krueger. And that was when we did our Christmas episode. Yeah. We did a gift guide, and you focused on Illuminidal as your shout out. And look at that, it's come full, 
full circle. It's beautiful. I mean, that is beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful and sacrilegious. <laughs> is it sacrilegious? I think the robe... Like, would this really offend someone? Oh, yeah. I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't say, know anything about religion, so... Um, I think it's usually Jesus depicted with the heart, because it's the heart, the sacred yeah. heart. Right. And a bit of or a robe. Or a saint, yeah. Yeah, a saint. And, like, the sun. But not to us, because to us, he is a god-like yeah. figure. This, this yeah. as he, his own words, this is God. Yeah. So, okay. Awesome. Well, I'm happy to offend whoever doesn't like my candle. So. <laughs> <laughs> Should we light it later or now? What do you, you want to do? You want to light it Open at all? Flame? No, okay. That's okay, fine. yeah. I wouldn't... It seems like we're asking for trouble if we have an open flame here. Yeah. It loses its value if you take it out of the box. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you. Oh, I yes. appreciate it. Of course. So. Guess how old I am. Anyone know? Not you guys. Anyone? 25. Perfect. We have 25 Thank you. 25 audience. years 25. old. 45. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> No, it couldn't be 46. Right in the nose, Michael, right in the nose. It couldn't be 46, it must be 25. It must be 25. Yeah, it's yeah. The Reverend can't 33. lie. 33, that's a good age. 33 you is a good age. You want to be 33? 25 is better. Okay, he's going to take 25. <laughs> he's going to take 25. That knocks like almost 20 years off my life? More than 20 years off my life. Oh my god. Anyway. So this, <laughs> <laughs> like, now it's like your spiral. Yeah, I know. And you're like, oh god, my mm -hmm. mortality. I'm just gonna curl up in the fetal position and like yeah. for the rest of the show. That's uh. gonna make for a really exciting interview. <laughs> in the meantime, let us segue over to the Women in Horror Month, which is February. Yeah. It is so um, popular and wonderful to talk about that we decided to kind of extend it a little bit. Heck yeah. And because the last episode, if you guys remember, we had the spooky slumber party uh, and we talked about the slumber party massacre part two mm -hmm. the woman um, uh, directed and produced and written films yep so and of course the spooky three which was the <laughs> <laughs> me Emma and Kelly that's right yep uh, anyways we decided to keep extended a little bit longer because it was such it a fun thing to really do it should never really end you know you're right it shouldn't yeah. go away it should just be a normal part of horror uh, or cinema in general Cinema in general. Any industry yeah, in general. Definitely. But, but um, um, especially in horror, I don't know, but probably because, like, we're kind of talking about, like, we are such, like, a community and family and, like, horror fans are, like, amazing. Right. And we got to support each other and, like, build each other up. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we got, like you said, really lucky because a friend of our series, of our cult film series from a couple years ago, Jackie Kong was here. Mm -hmm. And um, so we reached out to her again and said, hey, any chance you would come back and do another Blood Diner show and... We'll do Night Patrol because yeah. a new Blu-ray came out, and maybe you could even come over to the cult show and pay us a visit. And she actually said yes. I know. Believe it or not. I know. Couldn't so, believe it. I know. So what we're going to do is bring Jackie on yeah. uh, and talk about Blood Diner and ask her questions about her career. It proves that there is a god, and, she, <laughs> and she's a woman, and her name might be Jackie Kong. There you go. So <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jackie Kong. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, don't let, don't let yeah. the draft in. Yeah. That's very polite of you. Good to see you. Oh, Are you okay? You good? Yes, yes, Hot. really good. I want, you to, I want you to light that candle. Yeah, oh, jeez. Yeah. Light my fire. Sure? Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And this is my uh, yeah, That's your friend. You got a pillow. Friend. Only the best for, yes. for our guests. Um, your shirt is amazing. Oh, this is the new Gutter Guard Blood oh, Diamond shirt. Oh, so. my God. That is made that. It's a very nice shirt. That is sick. I love the colors. And there's like three or four different varieties they've sold out of. So, oh, I've got to go request a yeah. reprint. I didn't this get one. This one they sold out of. Oh. And the other with the brain with the knife in it. Yeah, that's, that's uh, a good one. That's a good one. You didn't get one either? No. I know no. you got to set your alarm for these Some things. Some of them you have to get going early on them. Yeah, yeah or you won't out. get one. And yeah. it's like good fabric. Oh, it's like <laughs> the good cotton. That's important, right? Yeah, yeah in your horror t shirt. Yeah. you got to have the cotton. So, how are you? Thanks I'm, for being here. I'm really good. I found the basement. You did. I've yeah. been like running around in the catacombs of Santa Rosa, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I heard yeah. the laughter in here, and I said, that must be the I know. She oh. came. She came willingly. Yes. Usually we gotta like drag him oh, in really? here. Yeah, our sacrifices. <laughs> yeah. We brought one guy in a burlap sack actually. Yeah. We brought him in. Was he like a sacrifice? 
No, he well, was a guest. He was a guest. Yes. <laughs> what, can't he be both? Yeah. <laughs> he took a little more prodding and coaxing to get him here. That's uh, all. I see. So. Yes. Anyway, so okay. hey, uh, Jackie Kong, perhaps you can tell the, the people at home on about, the internet about? about you. About me. Jackie yeah. Kong, oh, okay. like, you are a film director and mm -hmm. a producer and a, a writer. writer. Mm -hmm. And I am female. And you are you female. Are female. Yes. Uh, this is a big Whoa. thing I want to point out because <laughs> yes. everybody yes. thinks I'm a guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, they for the longest time, everyone thought I was a, a guy. Wow. And if you saw Night Patrol last night here at the theater, when they dubbed it in Italian, I do the outtakes. I, I talk about, you know, I talk to the actors and they, they, they run these, uh, me talking to the actors, giving them direction. And in Italy, they, they dubbed me with a man's voice. No. Yeah. Posto ragazzi. Posto ragazzi. <laughs> and I'm going, what the hell? I couldn't they keep my voice in there? I, I said, I know I have a deep voice, but it's not that deep. No, you no. didn't. You know? No. It didn't sound that wow. deep, actually. Yeah, really? Wow. Okay. Yeah, but wow. I'm going, and so when I walk into the distributor's office, it, I, it was a truly a visual shock. <laughs> when, because they, they thought I was a guy. Right. Yeah. Wow. What, what was that line you came up with that was Lewis. so good, apropos, Lewis? Short circuited. You I short circuited their consciousness, and mm -hmm. that's the story of Jackie Kong. I, I think I short circuit <laughs> yeah. people's consciousness all the time. I like and it. it nice. Either through yeah. my films or when they visually see me. And they have another concept of what the director of that film should look like. Yeah. And it's not me. Mm -hmm. It's not even female. <laughs> <It's> not like, <laughs> and, wow. and when I come in, it's like they just can't wrap their brain around no. this. Air, air does not compute. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't compute. About, yep. It doesn't compute. It's like you see it on their face. It's like. We just dubbed the, the, this, you know, male voice, deep male voice, <laughs> on this woman. Yeah. And there's no way that she could have made those that that's crazy film. Mm -hmm. I mean, they just it just did not compute. It just it was a straight short circuit of the brain. But especially yeah. if they had met you back then. Yeah, because I was because even younger. You were so young. I was Super when young, I made yeah. Blood Diner. I was 25. No, 27. When I made Night Patrol, I was 25, turned 26 during the filming. Wow. So, it, and I looked about 15. <laughs> I've I mean, seen the pictures you know, of you. Yeah, yeah they're look, out there. You look really young. Yeah, yeah, I look like I'm like in high school. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm directing a 35 person man crew, female, and, and I have a very diverse crew. My crew was off my, my a key grip. And Dolly Grip was a woman. Mm -hmm. um, my, my right hand, my producers were women. Um, you know, art department women. It was at least, I would say, 50 50, at least women, if not 60 40. Wow. And then diverse as anything, you know. Yeah. It was like not even, it wasn't, to me, it made sense. It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to try to be diverse. It just yeah. made sense to hire people that knew how to do the job. Right. right. And um, so, you know, I did that way before they forced people to do it. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're like, I was blazing those trails <laughs> right, I mean, before y'all even knew, yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, that should be the case. One shouldn't have yeah. to uh, be fighting for that. And even yeah. years, decades later, you're still, still fighting Still going for this. on. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, people ask me, have things changed? Uh, no. No. Nah. Not really. Yeah. If, if, if they didn't have to hire you, they wouldn't. And they're not thinking in terms of, they think of in terms of exception mm -hmm. if, and rather than the rule. Does right. that make any sense? Mm -hmm. so oh, it's, yeah. yeah. So it, and, they, and they resent it. As I did back then, I'm still doing now, which is I just have to do my own thing. Heck you, yeah. You can't wait for someone to say, hey, um, I think I'll hire a female Asian director. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, to, let me check the list. Yeah, yeah <laughs> right. That isn't happening. So you're waiting for that to happen. We're talking, I don't know how many more generations down the road yeah. for that to happen. So now you just I just go out and I write it and I do it myself. So I'm writing, written a new uh, feature, um, <gasps> Jackie Kong style, totally unique, completely original. No more remakes, please. I mean, that's what, what Platinum Doom. Original content. Yeah, it's like, original how many content. times they, can they remake these movies badly? Oh, it gets, you know, I it like gets the original, scary. Yeah. right? And it's like, okay, we'll remake it. So anyway, I like the idea of uh, what I, what, what I want to do as a director is make original films. And I think my films are completely original, right. even 30 years later. Well, it's like, it's not, it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah. Keep making your own stuff. Well, and, they don't, yeah. they can't wrap their brain no. around it. It's still the short circuit thing. You yeah. Know? It's like, 
um, how can she come up with something that is completely unique and our other guys can't do that? Right. Do you see exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah. This, this is the thinking rather than, wow, she made a really good film right. and I want her to make a film for us because she brings something to the table nobody else can bring to the table. Right. And that's what my films have always done. I mean, they're playing 30 years later to f sell out crowds that love the film. I yes. mean, not just like it, it's like yeah. they love, love the it, film. Yeah. And so, and right. they bring their friends to see it because it's an experience they wanna share yeah. with other people that they, they care about. So it delivers, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I, I mean, I'm, I think it, you, it's safe to say, right? Oh, you know? I would yeah. say. Yes, they're definitely, yeah. they're, they deliver, but they're also very unique, mm -hmm. you know, right, in their content and they even go, and this is the great thing that I love about them is they go over the top. Completely you know, they over don't, the top. They're not safe. Completely they don't over the try top. And, and you and I had a discussion about yeah. this earlier today, that they don't stay in that middle ground of no, we're going to play it You safe. never want to yeah. be in that middle ground as a filmmaker. You want to yeah. be, I'd rather have people hate my movie yeah. and love my movie right. and fight with each other. But <laughs> I, don't yeah. want, I don't want this, oh, it was like nicely shot and it was like, you know, everybody seemed to be acting okay and just like middle of the boring. road. Boring. Totally boring. That's and not art. Art should be polarizing. Cha challenge yeah. people and challenge them to actually figure out where you're going with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you cannot predict anything. My new script, you cannot predict one thing that's going to happen. And yet the characters are like really well defined. And, mm -hmm. and in fact, I, we were talking about this at the screening. Some of the characters aren't even people. <laughs> oh, I love that. And, I, and, and for those who haven't seen Blood Diner, I mean, it's the, <laughs> that's the thing. It's yeah. the, the favorite character is the brain. Yeah. The brain <laughs> is just a, jaw, a brain that we made out of, la, plate of uh, latex and put like one of those, uh, some eyeballs on it yeah. that was moving with a, uh, that we moved them with a um, airplane remote control. Remote thing, control. Yeah. I love it. Some that. bubbles on the bottom, <laughs> but it wasn't, it was the voice. It was yeah. the character. He's, it was the- It's kind of cute too. Yeah. I think it's You think cute. it's cute? I like it with his little eyes. <laughs> People want to date the brain. Pick <laughs> <laughs> me, brain. Yeah. So that's the challenge. How do you make that attractive, right? How do you challenge the audience, uh, you know, with, with Blood Diner, the idea was to make them, in the original script, really ghoulish guys that you could see coming a mile away that would kill these this, women. This is perfect. I was going to ask you about that. Oh, okay. I was going to ask you about that because I was talking to Wanda in the audience, mm -hmm. and I was like, you know, I think one of my favorite things about this movie is the Tupman brothers. Mm -hmm. They're so, they're cute. They're funny. Mm -hmm. They're charming. They're charming. They're charismatic. Yes. And I think especially in the eighties and in that time. Didn't no, exist. no, they were all they just did. like gross. Right. And this upset the rating board. Oh okay. because you, okay. they they said you cannot have good looking, charming guys be mass murderers. <laughs> <laughs> be killers. I mean, this is how far ahead of the time yeah. that film was. I said, No, I I, I want them to be guys that you'd want to date. That, exactly. That's more sinister than, yeah. than a guy that you can see coming a mile away that looks yeah. like a killer. I mean, someone that looks charming, that owns the corner business, yes. that has a charming smile, that, yeah. that you have no idea it's coming, then, then it's interesting. You I know? totally agree. Yeah. I so totally it's, agree. And that's one of my favorite parts about the movie. But get yeah. this, when we opened the film, I couldn't release the film in certain places because it went out unrated because of mm. the... Uh, it, it, there's a rule, or was a rule back then, you can't advertise in newspapers and on television right. on an X-rated movie. So I said, I'm not cutting the movie. I said, the movie is the movie, because it was more, they were more offended by the morals of the film than anything, even the killing. The killing didn't bother them. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, the it dismemberment, that's right. mine. That didn't bother them. It was like, oh my God, there's such likable guys killing all these people. <laughs> And uh, that was the, what, no one had ever done that before. No one had done. And when I made Blood Diner, and, yeah. and they were like, "We got this movie's got you know, no moral." Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 the compass is like spinning around and cannot find true north. Yeah. Because, um, and so, so get this, so I said, okay, we're going to open San Francisco, they got the film. That was the only place in, in the United States that got the film, other than the rest of the world, which was Italy, dubbed in Italian, German, Germans loved it, it Japanese, Chinese, Spanish, every place played all around the world to huge, mm -hmm. you know, success. But, you know, th this was a real problem with uh, the U.S. So they got it in San Francisco and we opened in, in a, what they call Grindhouse mm -hmm. on Market Street. 
That's so cool. And uh, had a big party south of Market at this club. And um, one of the things was sold out. I had relatives knocking on the window trying oh. to get in. It's like, <laughs> I'm going to use some nepotism to get in. <laughs> I know her. I know. Yeah. I'm her cousin. Let me. They're in. like, sure you are. Everybody's right. her cousin. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, but we, but one of the things we did is we said, win a date with the stars, the, the two Tutman boys. No, they had not seen the film. <laughs> 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 so we did this giveaway, like you want a date with you know Michael Tutman or George, and they, these girls were so happy. Yeah. Until they saw the movie, <laughs> <laughs> and they never showed up for the date. <laughs> <laughs> That's how convincing they were as like serial killers. They're like, like maybe killers. I shouldn't go. No, maybe yeah. this is like they're not the nice guys they look yeah. to be. And know, this was before cell phones. Like they're yes. like I don't want to get dragged into some cave. With right. These right. Guys. Oh. Then, <laughs> so you know Keith. what? So yeah. Blood Diner is going to be, I think, the topic and the film we're going to watch tonight. Yeah, let's do it. So I'm thinking yeah. what we'll do is we'll right. get the VHS. Well, pop let's it get in. the VHS. I see it Can right there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I'll get it. You're a pro at that. Look at I that. Saw, I saw yeah. this thing back now. Right? Wow. Oh, Good job. Look at that. Yeah, I brought some pictures for you guys too after oh, awesome. after you start. The movie. Thank you. Yay. So what we'll do is we'll pop this in the VCR. Yes. Take a quick watch, okay. and then when we come back. We'll get to discuss it more and then everything else yeah, there is about how Jackie we Kong. Did, well, Jackie, I'll explain Jackie, how Jackie we did Kong. some of the scenes. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. If my VCR works. Uh-oh. Okay, wait. Okay, there we go. So we'll come back and we'll talk. All right. Don't try these things at home. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. Welcome back. We just finished watching Blood Diner, and Jackie has a little uh, tradition for us. Yes. We, every time I have a screening when we were on tour with Blood Diner, we had to start and finish with a shot of whiskey. This started in Austin, Texas, where we started the tour, okay. and so we have to do it. And everyone, everyone has everyone. one. Everyone has one. And that's one. everyone. Crew. You at home, the, pause this, yeah, go pause. grab yeah. one. Yeah. Grab Those of you who are listening to buy a podcast right now, driving your cars. Pull over. <laughs> Pull over. <laughs> we know you have whiskey in your glove <laughs> compartment. Take it out. Right. Yes. Yeah. Pull, Pull your flask out, out of your boot. Pour, right. Pour yourself <laughs> two fingers. <laughs> or in Caleb's and case, he's doing a fist work. Yeah. 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 You've got a fist, yeah. He's got a healthy pour. Are you able to handle that? We'll all right. Yeah. We'll no, 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 what are you doing? That's okay, you. cheers. Do it all. Cheers. 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 Jackie. Praise ah. Sheetar. Praise Sheetar. Praise Sheetar. Heck yeah. Oh my god, I never can get used to that. Oh, Wanda, no. you uh, I did not. <laughs> I want to get Wanda on camera. Yeah. Oh, she's awake now. In New Orleans, we didn't do a shot of whiskey, we did a shot of. Bourbon? Southern bourbon. Yeah. Yeah, that was the thing. So everyone had Southern, to have what a do you shot. Do? Southern comfort or what do you? The Southern comfort. No, no, it was, um, oh my God, it's kicking in. <laughs> 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 you just did not your stomach yet, Jackie. <laughs> oh my God, it's, no, it's, it's, it's already gone to my to head. Bourbon, right? They no, got no, it was street. Southern comfort. It is Southern so cold. comfort. Yeah. Comfort. <laughs> comfort. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, what that's, was that? Neil? That's why the kids just call it SoCo. <laughs> that's yeah. what it was. No, no. All right. All right. Oh. So before Jackie gets two sheets under, <laughs> let's yeah. or any let's of talk two. about Blood Diner. Yeah, please. All right. So we talked a little bit about it. Okay. Yeah. What would you like to know? Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> you start? can go anywhere with this. If you have something particular, please. Oh, yeah. Well, so okay. I already wanted to talk about the boys, because that's my favorite part. Yes. That last night at the screening of the cult film series, you planted a seed in my head for mm. favorite character. Mm. And I like to be different. So I was like, I was thinking about it all last night, driving home before I went to bed. And I was like, I'm going to hit her with this. My favorite character is the music. Ah, interesting. I, and, and hearing and you I, talk about the bands yes. and all of that. It's interesting you say that because on Blood Diner, I gave different themes to every character. And that's why the music was so diverse. If you listen to, the, for example, Michael had the hypnotic theme, right? Mm -hmm. That was scored by Don Preston. The diner had its own theme, yeah. which was the doo-wop music. So anytime you're in that diner, you heard the doo-wop music. Yeah. And then um, the brain and any supernatural <laughs> reanimation 
was always Wagner. Wagner Tannenhauser's Overture, the Tannenhauser Overture, which no one had ever done in a horror film, which was really bizarre because it was such a, uh, it's classical music. Yeah. I mean, no, but the idea that you have doo-wop and you have R&B mm -hmm. and you have um, You have the these king, crazy punks. Right, punk rock yeah. bands and the king of white trash, you know, Lee. <laughs> It was, it was, uh, the music was really made it timeless, made the film timeless. So when yeah. you watch that film, you can't tell when that took place. Nah. Because even when I shot it, you know, doo-wop music wasn't popular mm -hmm. at all. Mm -mm. And R&B was already 20 years old. And Wagner was about, in the 80s, that was already 40 years old. <laughs> so, you know, so when you do that, it creates a sense of timelessness. So that's why the film, you can't tell when it takes place. Mm -hmm. And that's why it holds up now mm -hmm. because it doesn't have a it doesn't feel dated Does it adds to the the surrealism mm -hmm. yeah and Which, what yeah. happens when you do this uh, you know this is an old director's trick actually it's not i didn't create this creating the um this theme for every character you know like it's like they do that john williams does it a lot i mm -hmm. mean a lot of mm -hmm. big time composers yeah. do that um where they create like E.T. has a certain sound. Yeah. So the, the shark in Jaws yeah. has like its own dun 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 dun. <laughs> the, great, the great thing about that is you never have to sh have the person or the thing actually there. You just play the music that's mm -hmm. their theme and it, it automatically brings it up to the audience. So in a horror film especially, you can play these themes mm -hmm. and create the presence of that person yeah. or that thing um, right there. Or the, the setting. Yes, or the setting. By if the, I played yeah. doo-wop music any time outside the diner, you would think of the diner. Yep. You know, it, it, would, it would be the way, if I played Michael's theme during uh, looking at something else, you would think of him. Yes. So it's a completely subliminal, you know, It technique. is subliminal. And then yeah. when you start to like think about it, you're like, oh my God, it's so, per it's, it works. Yeah. These are filmmaker tricks. Little, tri little <laughs> tricks in the <laughs> trade. <Yeah. laughs> we're, like we're, get, we're getting tricks. a master class. Yes. We're getting a master class. Uh, TED but, talk. But I'm, I'm glad you noticed it because a lot of people don't notice, you know? Or, or they get, or even better, they just get, cons uh, they get involved in the story, yeah. which is with the whole point of that technique oh. is to get you into the story, like fully on a visceral level on a on your all senses except yeah. for smell <laughs> I, for some reason, I feel like I, I feel like do. I do pick up a yeah, little smell. I know. Smell. I, yeah. Something about Blood yeah. Diner. I feel like you can but, smell everything. I don't know where yeah. it is. I just let me one moment to brag. I feel like I'm Jackie Kong's favorite student right now in class. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Professor, it was the music. My favorite mm -hmm. part was the music, and you're like A plus. It's because you're in the front well, row. But you noticed it. Shut up. It, it's good that you did because I've never had anyone actually point that out during one of the Q and A's. Oh so well, cry that's why we have her here. Yeah. yeah. Because she She's a smart one. A lot of class. <laughs> Kayla and, and I are the And men. you are? We're the eye candy. Oh, the eye candy. Okay. Pure well, eye that, candy. That makes, se that makes yeah. sense. We, 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 are right. George, we are George and Michael. Oh, okay. <laughs> the the Tuckman boys grown up. Yep, that's if they right. haven't been I'm not they, sure which is which, but. <laughs> If, if only their head had, if only George's head, and no, Michael's head was, George's head wasn't bit off by Shitar's right. orifice. Oh. I don't want to give that away. Shoot. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. No, no, we no, all no. just watched okay. it. Yeah. You just spoil it. For yeah. your audience at yeah. home. Yeah. Your, yeah. your movie is how old now? It's okay. It's 30 yeah. years old, and it never fails to surprise. 33 years old. Yeah, it never fails to surprise an audience. 33 yeah. years young. You know, really. I mean, it's like, it always, that is what's amazing to me. You watch that movie. Audiences get entertained and are surprised, and we're talking about horror fans, which have seen everything. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, you, it's really a tough crowd to surprise. Mm -hmm. That's why the new project I'm working on, you'll see, is full of surprises, and I know God. no one has ever done it before, because I'm tired of, I will never do a sequel. You know me, Neil, I've never done a sequel. Are never you, will? Never will. I mean, the idea, I've been offered sequels. I was offered a sequel uh, deal for Night Patrol, I was offered a Jap the Japanese company Toho wanted me to do a sequel to Blood Diner because it was a huge, huge hit in Japan, and um, and I said uh, I I already made that movie. That's cool as an yeah. artist that you were like I've been there, done that. I want to do something new. Yeah, I really Which respect is, that. Actually. Oh, thank yeah. you. Well, yeah. I really feel that that's you know a challenge to me, and I won't do it unless it's a challenge. I, I feel like I already did that. I don't believe I can do it better than that. 
because, <laughs> right? I did the best I could, yeah. and I think I, I, I did a good job to surprise the audience, but you know, who wants to see a rehash? But I get that it's a cash cow. You yeah. know, I understand that that's the way that those kind of franchises work. And it's like a nostalgia, and people are like, mm -hmm. oh, I want to capture it again. Right. So they think the only way they can capture it is to do a sequel. But you've got to do a new story. You do. You, you have, have to do a new to, story. You have to tell a new story. Otherwise, yeah. it's like a rehash, and it's not and interesting. And it's like, yeah, it's like we're just going through it again. And right. Yeah. And, um, but so I think I guarantee you could do it, though. You, uh, don't you want, you want her to do it. No, I'm saying you yeah. can think about, like, you know, one of the brothers had a child before all this happened, and the child grows up. And Aunt Uncle Amwar comes Neil's through. <laughs> he comes through via the the internet. Ah, okay. You know, cause, so uh, an updated version. Kind of, but like he gets through. <laughs> he he finds out the brain manages to use the internet to get to the no, ancestor. I think if you're gonna do that, you need to follow Sheetar. No, I, but then, then follow no, Sheetar. That's an point. She's 100 percent right. Yeah, 100 yeah. percent right. Yeah, yeah. she kind of stands out though. It's only problem with Sheetar. Yeah, the only female survivor of the massacre of at Club Dread, <laughs> walks away unscathed in her red outfit and red pumps. Oh my god. <laughs> Picks up that cute boy in the Carmen key. <laughs> well, who who is, line who is, we love. We love his line, by yes. the way. Who is, who is hot, bothered, and horny. <laughs> um, and, oh is willing, and is willing Aren't to we all? forget. So <laughs> oh, honest. Yeah. And it was funny because I, I got to, to sit next to you just yes. for the end last night. And it's like, it's so funny. Like, just getting to sit like next I to, like to the female filmmaker. The audience, yeah. You know? I yeah. always am turning to Neil. I can always tell when he's going, oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe she did that. When did I do that? Uh, during Night Patrol. Night Patrol, no. <laughs> during Night Patrol. I can tell you the exact scene I was watching because I knew you would have a bad reaction. Uh, it but, sounds like a rash. <laughs> I knew you were going to have a bad reaction. <laughs> because for me, the fun... I got fun, the Asian glow. <laughs> yes, yes. The fun you got is the watching, movie glow. You wish. But, uh, I wish. And I won't even <laughs> reveal the scene. You're going to have to watch Night Patrol. Just go watch it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there are enough surprises in there. But there, there are. Was, I mean, no, it's a fun movie. Yeah. And you know, someone said to me at the New Art Theater, Oh my God! Something was politically incorrect, but the whole movie is politically incorrect. It's so kind of I, it's the point. Not, it's yeah. the point exactly. Yeah. You're not. I'm not trying to be politically correct. That's not my thing. You know, my favorite and part of Night Patrol actually is how your two lead guys play it so straight. Yes. That is everything because it's so insane, <laughs> and they're so just like they're just on their own level, almost like it's Lethal Weapon or something, yeah. you know. <laughs> and that's that's my favorite part. It's just their reaction because that's comedy right is right. their reaction well so you know i do these people keep asking me are you making a, like a new version of a buddy movie you know uh, you know the, the, the buddy, right. buddy, the buddy comedy, comedy yeah. Is, yeah and i said you know i never thought about it really yeah but but there's a chemistry i think it's what, what it is is chemistry between the characters yeah there's a good chemistry you believe them mm -hmm. you believe that um they're, you know, in Blood Diner, you believe they're talking to the brain, and you believe that one's looking out for the other one. I believe they're brothers. Yeah, you believe they're brothers. 100%. There's a kind of feel. They have a good chemistry. Yeah. It's really important when you're cast to have people that have chemistry. This is like, a, I don't know, it's like you put that together, and when you're in rehearsal, you can see, wow, there's chemistry there. That's why this works. Yes, you guys have yeah. chemistry. <laughs> yeah. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So and then it becomes no. fun, you know. Yeah. Otherwise, when you, when I tell you, there's nothing worse than if, if when, and I've directed that before, and won't talk about what movie, but uh, when there's like sure? zero chemistry. You sure oh. you want to talk about it? Yeah, I'm no, not going to talk no. about it. We've had some good dish dirt, dirt, dish dirt. Uh, <laughs> some tea. good dirt the dish. Tea. No, we the call tea. it the tea now. It's not dirt anymore? No, it's, no but it's, it's casting okay. is essential. And people ask me, where did you find but this? But sometimes you don't know until you get into it if they're going to get along or not. No, True. no, you, no. You go, I, all of my films, I have extensive rehearsals. Okay. In fact, what people watch it and they go, Night Patrol looks so spontaneous. I said, we rehearsed that thing that film for months. Seriously? Months ahead of time. Oh there my was God, no, it feels so, so spontaneous. spontaneous. I said, if you have a good rehearsal and you create that chemistry, it should they should know how to make it fresh mm -hmm. when they're on the set. But if you try to go on to a diner with two guys who've never been in a diner before right. and uh, that don't yeah. know each other, that have to pretend they're brothers. And they're running this business. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, don't even know how to run anything. Yeah. I mean, literally, I had rehearsals for a month, at least a month on, on Blood Diner mm -hmm. at the producer's house. Wow. And then I, I rehearsed every zombie. 
that you saw in the finale. That's all not spontaneous. Yeah. That was like, okay, it wasn't scripted. So mm -hmm. I said, okay, the script supervisor was with me. A, B, C, D, A through Z, zombie attacks that were had to be inserted into the script and then the prosthetics had to be made. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like spontaneous, it all had to be built. Makes and much more sense than a filmmaker perspective, yeah, you can't make it spontaneous, yeah. it has to be But planned. the good news is it looks spontaneous, <laughs> and that's why you rehearse to make it look yeah. that that's spontaneous. Like, almost like you just told everyone, just go go at it and the yeah. camera will move around and catch whatever we see. That, but yeah. They watch Night yeah. Patrol and they go, oh my God, Jackie, you must have had such a good time making that movie. Yeah. Yeah. It looked like so much fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the point, but yeah. it was a horrible shoot. <laughs> was, it horrible. was it hot? It looked like it was hot. hot. Yeah. It, was, it was like, we didn't have any money. So everyone had to work weekends only because they're working regular jobs during the week. I rehearsed the actors during the week and then we shot two days in which I had to be at two locations a day to get up all those scenes. Oh my God. I'm shooting so fast and hard, the only way you could do that is by having everything rehearsed. So that uh, literally that's Pat Paulson and me on the microphone in a truck ahead of them on the camera car saying, jump to scene 23, do the dialogue. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> jump to scene 50 59, do the dialogue. I mean, yeah. we'd rehearsed it so much on a sofa, very much like this, with him driving and the other person doing the dialogue. Because when you're actually driving that camera car, with the camera sitting on the hood. You can't even see beyond the hood, practically. Yeah. Yeah. And you're supposed to be driving and doing your dialogue. If you didn't rehearse that, that takes forever. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it takes forever. These days, you, Pat Paulson wouldn't be doing the driving. Right. You'd be have a rig, a, you know, a a rig. doing it during yeah. the driving. Yeah. And those are, those are faking it, pantomiming it. Those yeah. are expensive. Those are expensive, right. <laughs> those are expensive. So yeah. instead, you're like, That you wasn't know. in the budget. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't we'll in the budget. put the actor in peril. The, the cheapest. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll put a big giant camera right, right in view of where he's going. 35, right on there. 35 millimeter camera with a 400 foot magazine exactly. right on the hood. And I remember he was such a bad driver. Oh, God. I remember he had no idea. He'd slam on the brakes, and the, I was like afraid the whole camera, camera would go flying off. Go and, flying like, off. and there goes the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so I had really had to rehearse them so they could jump from one scene because all of those were shot in one yeah. go while driving through the streets of Hollywood, even though it was like all the way through the movie. Did you have uh, one permits? go? Yeah, yeah. one oh, go. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Do you have permits for all that, or is it? Well, we had permits. Do you have for, a permit for that, man? <laughs> this is a good question. We had the permits for all of the LA shoots in Night Patrol, but okay. that one shot where the. I have an overhead shot of this, you know, the city where you see the squad car come and do a turn, and, and it's, it's the sunset, mm -hmm. and it's got the sirens and the lights going. Well, I shot that in Santa Monica without a permit. <laughs> Santa Monica is like a, a block from the police station. Ooh, Santa Monica. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm in Santa Monica, and like, don't arrest me now. It's too late. I think this is touch <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't, can't okay. touch her. Yeah. But I was on a building up on the on Santa Monica, and I'm on the walkie-talkie, and I said, okay, run that camera car, that phony police car, with a phony police car, <laughs> with, with, with the, the lights. lights running all the red lights and coming around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember the guys were from the art department, they were having so much fun in the car because they were on walkie, I could hear them laughing and the walkie talkie. And then I said, okay, once they made the turn, we got the shot, I said, be careful now because I don't have a permit. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and then I remember hearing them like go silent. <laughs> like totally silent. Oh shit! Literally, they yeah. would have been way they're, arrested. Right now, they're impersonating a police officer. That's right. They're oh and, my god! Full sirens and a phony police. It's car. like yeah. stacking it on top of each <laughs> that's, other. That's yeah. the time right there. So it was like silence. They didn't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> It was a very funny uh, bit, but that's the stuff we had to do on Night Patrol. Yeah. You know, like Night it. Patrol was like, uh, you know, guerrilla filmmaking, but you can't tell because it looks so, you know, it looks like a big budget movie yeah. on many levels because of all the shots. Right. Well, you know how but, it's big budget is all the special effects sound editing you did after the fact. Yes. I mean, that's how you know you got a big budget film when you have Billy Barty farting. Yes. <laughs> the, the entire time well, he's he, on screen. He had no idea he would be farting. <laughs> so that was. Whose idea? Was that you? Did yeah, decide to put fart noises? Yeah. Was he mad? He was pissed. <laughs> and way Rest pissed. In peace, I think he sorry. wanted to sue me. I know. 
And then, <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> yes, but my attorney was his attorney. <laughs> <laughs> and my attorney said he came to us and he said he wanted to sue over the farting. And the attorney, <laughs> the attorney couldn't stop laughing. He was like, how can you sue <laughs> someone? You can't. You're going to bring that before the, a judge? Plus, yeah. exactly. Plus, Billy was Mormon. And he was like, like very like, oh my God, I can't believe you're doing this joke or that joke or this joke. And yet he'd come up with the raunchiest jokes to run by in rehearsal that he wanted to to try out. Right. And I said, like, what? Because like, what? rehearsals are the time that you can try out things. Play. And I'll decide yeah. in rehearsals whether it stays or not. And I tell anybody, once I'm shooting, I don't have time to improvise because we just didn't have the time. Mm -hmm. So rehearsal's the time to try everything out. So he goes, I got this great idea. You know, the police lineup. Um, I'd like to do this thing where I recognize all the officers by grabbing their crotch. <laughs> 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 and I said, I said, really? He goes, yeah, I could just grab them and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I said, you know, Billy, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff I have to do in rehearsal. I said, yeah. but now I'm, you know, grabbing the crotch. And I don't think it's going to, like, work on film. It's not going to, yeah, yeah translate. Yeah, it's not going to add anything. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> and I think we would have been sued by all the other actors. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, not we, if you all had the same not lawyer. If, not if they True. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't worth lawyer. it, believe me. No, no. <laughs> so after the shoot, did anyone, did anyone go around calling him Billy Farty? I don't know. <laughs> too easy. I too never easy. saw him There's after that. Yeah. <laughs> he avoided you like the plague. I He's was like, like avoiding He's in yeah. the lawyer's office. Oh, I'll be good. I'm not there today. I'm, I'm, I'll be somewhere else. Farty. All right, officers. I want to clean up the city. Prostitution is running rapid. And I want to drive every hooker out of this town. <laughs> now, I want you to be extra careful for the next 24 hours because I'm leaving town and I'm going to a police convention in Las Vegas. <laughs> Yeah. So, so when did he see it at the at the premiere, or did you show your actors? We, we didn't have a premiere first? of okay. Night Patrol, so I didn't see him. I didn't have the nerve to see him <laughs> at the, at, the uh, at, at any screening. We just opened the film, and it became number one everywhere theatrically. It was really okay. a big. Uh, it was because the trailer was on the Beverly Hills Cop platters. Oh, okay. So that was our audience, and the trailer really made you laugh. I mean, it was really, I cut the trailer, you know, and it was funny. You think, you think about, cool. oh, yeah. in that year, 1984, you had Beverly Hills Cop and Police Academy. Yes. Two very large comedies. And that, mine. And, 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 but then and yours, all three had to do with the police force and right. everything. But mm -hmm. mine was the only one that had to do, I think, L with LAPD. <laughs> LAPD, I was like, you know, they weren't happy about the movie because I guess we Beverly Hills versus LAPD, yeah. Yeah, Beverly Hills is like an elite. <laughs> they, they, like, they, yeah. Um, <laughs> Do cops hate you from this movie? Like, mm. if you get pulled over, are they like, are you that lady that's when that I made pretend, that movie? No, are you, you that, that guy that made that movie? That's yeah. when I pretend, that, oh, that, that Jackie Kong must be a guy. Yeah, you're really like, not one. the same Jackie Kong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness there are a lot of Jackie Kongs out there. Yeah. But, but this is another thing I notice about with women. Why do they put my age there all the time? You notice with men when you see yeah. an IMDb, oh, their never, age is never on there. Never, no. ever. That's right, like, really? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. I've noticed it as well. Uh, you notice that too. Yeah. It's like, what is with that? And there's so much already discrimination going on. I know. So then we need to like make and, it ageist yeah. and like look at this woman and right. Her. It's like, <laughs> first it's <Yeah>. like. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a phenomenon I notice. With women, yes. they always have got the, the age. But you could put, look up Steven Spielberg. You could look up any director. You have to, like, scroll. Yeah. You yeah. can't find a, it's, like, right at the top. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and then you're, like, down <laughs> at the bottom. Oh, yeah. she's 40? Yeah, no, yeah. thank you. Oh, she's no. done. She's yeah. done. Is that true? And age discrimination. I, I noticed yeah. it, too. Oh it's, so it's get on that IMDb. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah. IMDb, yeah. IMDb yeah. fix that yeah. shit, OK? They should yeah. fix that. Fix that's that's just too much. Yeah. It, 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 wrong. That's really wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Um, that's horrible. Yeah. So speaking of women, so these guys, they like to poke a little bit of fun at me because mm -hmm. I have pointed out, and this is not a new concept, about phallic imagery in <laughs> horror movies. Okay. And that's one of the reasons I love Sheetar and I stand Sheetar is because she has 
a vagina weapon. She has a vagina weapon. Yes. Huge <laughs> vagina weapon. It's huge. With teeth. Vaginal okay. dentata. Yes. So ready to bite off anything. And it's amazing. And anything. 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 And it's amazing. I would like to point out that every woman has a vagina weapon, just so you guys know. <laughs> and it has been used against me many times. Really? So. Wow. With or without teeth, though. With or without teeth. Yeah. Either way, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. Amen. Well, wow. that's why. That's why that. Isn't it so that sad? Film, this that's poor why. white man just suffering <laughs> over here. But is privilege. My privilege <laughs> yeah. has I been. I think, Neil, that's why the film resonates with men, too. Because it's okay. scary for them. It's scary. It's a scary idea yeah. of this woman with this, oh, I hate to spill the beans, but she's got this giant vagina. Yeah. With teeth. On her stomach. It's, yeah. And it's going <laughs> to get you. Yeah. Yeah. That's and, amazing. Yeah. So yeah. I, without, but th but I, I, I can appreciate your on it. Your fear. My fear, <laughs> yes. Fear. Hey, it's a phobia. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's like a moth to the flame. Like, right. I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a vagina. I have to. <laughs> Much. Well, I took that vagina on the airplane with me. No. Yes. As a carry-on item? Yes, as a carry-on yes. item. Because I didn't want it to get crushed. Or like get and lost, it goes and ends up in Michigan. To New Orleans. I took it to New Orleans for the screening at the, at this club and in the French Quarter. Oh, they must have loved it. Yeah. They, well, luckily, they just didn't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they knew. They didn't want to ask what the hell oh, really? that was. Yeah. Really? Because I, I took it out. They were I, intimidated. Yeah, because I needed a sheet. Tar, someone to play Sheetar. This and is when? When did this happen? This was in 2017. Recently. Oh, yeah, recently. recently. Yeah. yeah, 2017. It was the new and improved Sheetar. New for, okay. And it was a seven foot tall Sheetar um, transvestite. Amazing. And it was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. amazing. I call it the new and improved Sheetar. New and it improved. Like, it, was like, it was like after yes. 30 years. She turned morphed into a. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like if you loved Sheetar before. Right, you're yeah, gonna love, love Sheetar. Yeah. I love and that that's still pushing it, though. Yes, it's still pushing yes. of like what people are accepting in gender right. and stuff. I think it's right. really cool. I, it's, we're pushing all the envelopes on that. And yeah. so, and, and in New Orleans, they loved her. I mean, we hit the I French bet. Quarter after the screening and we're oh. running around. And uh, it was so much fun. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, Sheetar was out there full, full, full dress. Gold. They yeah. even recreated the costume at the end and uh, the hair. Did the hair. thing move? Did it move? It didn't move. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it was static. Yeah. It was a. I just, it was a. That's a valid question. It's a valid question. It was. It was not a, a mobile okay, vagina. Okay, not a mobile vagina. <laughs> it was yeah. static. Yeah, and it's a static. vagina, Neil. Not a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Time, Did it not snap at you when you tried to? <laughs> <laughs> and not snap. I think that uh, so the fact that, that she's wearing it, they like proud. Yeah. And then what yes. was weird were all the tourists wanted to take pictures with her. Oh, I bet. Yeah, it was like yeah. a huge draw. Like, oh my God, I have to have a picture with. with they didn't know the movie. Of yeah, course. they're yeah. like, whatever they're this like, is. Whatever, yeah. whatever it is, it's attractive. <laughs> I have another question, kind of comment, really. Mm -hmm. um, in Blood Diner, our heroine is a woman of color yes. and a police officer. Sheba Jackson. Yeah, yeah. and I'm, I'm kind of like, <laughs> I bet people were like, no, they, no, that can't be. Everything I did was no, no. they can't be. <laughs> like, <laughs> can't that be. doesn't exist, that person doesn't exist. That, yeah. well, I was, we were, we, it was a play on the coffee characters and the, these strong black women yeah. in these films. And so we had Sheba Jackson, she was representing. Yeah, um, and love we, her. Yeah, she's like, and she's like not taking any shit from the, from no. that, that weird partner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she gets stuck with him, yeah. <laughs> Who's like making one advance after the other. And that was another thing, is like, when I was directing Roger, I said, okay, Roger, stick out your tongue when you're looking out. And he goes, and then he goes okay, and he sticks out his tongue. I said, further? <laughs> Further, yeah. <laughs> so, so he had no idea that was coming because I do a lot of rolling the camera and I talk to the actors. So, and suddenly it's absurd. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got his whole tongue hanging out while looking at Sheba Jackson, 
And, um, <laughs> mm -hmm. and the other thing that the producer said I was crazy about, and I think we talked about it at the screening last night, was you cannot cast a dummy as a talking <laughs> character. That's one, that's one of my favorite parts and of the movie. People love yes. the dummy. It's hysterical. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. I that, love it. I love that it. That dummy was not supposed to be a dummy. It was a scripted character. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be an actor. And I said, no, we're making it a dummy. No. I said, I called the art department. I said, make me a dummy. <laughs> I said, uh, and, yeah. I, and then they looked at me and said, but Jackie, that, that character has lines. <laughs> and I said, like, I know. I'm aware. <laughs> yes, yeah. I'm yeah. aware. I know. <laughs> I said, but what sells loneliness more than a dummy? Right. I said, you got to drag a dummy around and put your a dummy. If you, even if you have one customer, that's better than a dummy. Like that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So that is hilarious. But yeah. no one had ever done that before. It was like completely considered out there, absurd. Um, how can you do that? I mean, but you know what? Yeah. That's what I like to try to do, and that's why the next project that I'm working on is a film in which, full of surprises that no one has ever done, I, I promise you. And I researched some of this stuff myself. <laughs> uh, personally, I think I told you about that. Um, so I went, I want to, should I go into it? No. This new project is so exciting. <laughs> but no, we don't want to, it's like you got to give us like little tastes, mm. but not too much. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's see, what, what, what do you think? You've read it. I've read it. Yes. Neil you read, read it? I've read it. N Neil she, has signed the non-disclosure. She shared with me that. And <laughs> he's read half of it. He have not read the part where they get to the bunny ranch yet. Right. And the, <laughs> the girls get to the bunny ranch. <laughs> Which, by the way. More. So what she, what she did was, and this is what I like about it so much, is that she took, she's creating a brand new urban legend. That doesn't but that, exist. But then she is. Um, tying it into the tr some tropes of what we love as horror fans. Yes. Okay. So and then, the this Easter is, eggs are this in there. This is for horror fans that will recognize my tributes to other really yeah. good oh, horror we films. Oh, we love that. We love that as or horror fans. Other, yeah, horror film uh, directors or, or writers mm -hmm. that, and I have them peppered all over, but I don't ever say what it is. But when you read it, and if you're a horror fan, you know. You'll see it. You'll yeah, know. you'll know immediately. Um, and I won't spill it. I'm not spilling okay. it here, and, but it's full of those. And, but the the great thing about it is that it is a female-driven driven, yeah. piece. Yay! And, 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 and it shows this sort of, um, this genesis from being sort of like a teenager to becoming how to be, these things happen, mm -hmm. and how they become way empowered uh, and super badass. Yeah. Ooh. They yeah. become a team. Super, yeah. They become and, a team, yeah. and when they're a team, rather, and they and they transform yeah. through these events that happen with this urban legend. Mm -hmm. And I can't oh. tell you anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah, an urban legend that just does not exist that was a, in my imagination. Yeah. That will become an urban legend. By the time Ooh. we finish, I'm absolutely sure of that. Oh, I love Urban Legends. This sounds yeah. so yeah. me. You would love, yeah, this sounds so legends, me. Yeah. I've written a lot of great characters for the new project because I believe that characters drive the story. 100%. If you don't care about the characters, you don't care about the special effects, you don't care about the movie, you may as well just turn it off. Yeah, but the, 100%. But if you care about these characters, you care about the characters in Blood Diner, you care about what's going to happen to this who is this unknown comic character <laughs> yeah. and and, wa and who really is robbing the stores but you have to yeah. care about them to enough to to mo to to want to watch the rest of the I call it the hook and in any good movie there should be a a point where you say and I do this all the time when I'm watching either a, a, a film I go I'm in I'm hooked <laughs> I get, I got hooked. And mm -hmm. if you know the hook on Night Patrol, and I'm very conscious about this as a filmmaker, the hook on Night Patrol wasn't all the bad jokes that came at you fast and furious at the beginning. The hook was when the psychiatrist turns to the audience <laughs> and says, ah, yourself. And when you're in the theater, and you can feel that hook. Mm -hmm. You can actually feel people go, Oh, that was a bad joke. I mean, they literally said that in the grindhouses in Chicago. I love it. And then he turns to the camera and to the audience and says, "Oh, well, ah, yourself." And what's and so then, cool though is you got Jack Riley. Yes, because Jack Riley so is so, so cool. funny. I mean, Jack Riley was yeah. like in Mel Brooks movies. Yeah, he's and, you know, so I mean, funny he's in this so movie. Cool. Well, we had Jack Riley. I had every up-and-coming comic from Andrew, Andrew Dice Clay. Clay. Andrew yeah. Dice Clay. He's hilarious in this movie. First movie. movie. Yeah. 
first he was movie. Good. Yeah. yeah, he was funny. He'd never his first done, movie? He'd never done a film, in, and he came to rehearsals too. And oh. he'd never made a film. So I said, we were going to rehearse, come over to the house. Actually, Sam Kennison was supposed to be in it. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But he'd show up to rehearsals at like 2 in the morning. I said, Sam, <laughs> after the comedy store closed. Okay. And I said, you know, rehearsals are long over. And probably very high on something. Totally. And he starts slapping himself. <laughs> like, oh. I've never seen an actor do that before. <laughs> <laughs> like and start laughing wildly and slapping oh himself. God. I mean, he wow. was talented for sure, but difficult to wrangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're like, I am yeah. trying to like actually get something done here. Right. I need to actually yeah. have rehearsals at like a decent hour. Right. Everyone is already gone, and he'd show up, and you know, it was the days when people would stay up late. But come on, yeah. <laughs> there's got to be a line. Two in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so we had a lot of up and coming comedians, and then we had, uh, of course, Pat Paulson. Yeah. Who was Love is deadpan, and presidential um, candidate yes. Pat Paulson, and uh, and uh, and he had a winery. Yeah, for you, Santa Rosa. He did. He he a, yes, his, love it. He told me the motto for his winery was unlike Orson Welles, which is uh, you know you know that motto. Mm. His was we shall sell no wine. Mm. Was his motto because they didn't sell it. <laughs> <laughs> of business and, and his girlfriend ran off with a bunch of money and was like sort of mm. tragic you know yeah. I'm going who is it was she was the one in the diner scene which was my favorite scene in, in Night Patrol yes, I, yes. Which one was she? the diner scene that's my favorite who was too. she though in the she scene? was the girl that comes up and kisses him the little oh thank you yeah. last night yeah. yes okay yeah. the long hair yeah I okay. love that scene too I yeah. love the little creepy crawlies yeah yeah <laughs> that was that I was, was really funny so laughing so hard when we were shooting it and like and Yurig was on the camera and I'm always like right on him so I can see what he's seeing okay. so so I see him starting to shake because he's laughing. <laughs> and I'm going, oh my God, don't ruin this take. So yeah. I'm in his ear and I'm saying, stop laughing. Stop laughing because I don't want you to, because we can hear what's going on. We were shooting through a plate glass window for the master shot. So the spiders could hit the, yeah, of course. the window. Yeah. Yeah. So we had to be on headsets so I could hear the dialogue on the, on the master shot. And he had a headset too. And I could see him like, Starting to shake. You're like you're gonna ruin this, yeah, man. I, and I said, do not ruin yeah. this take. And you know, there's a lot of technical things like that when you're filming. It could be the best take in the world, but if you don't get it in the camera, it, it, it doesn't happen. Yeah, no good, yeah. It's no good. And yeah. then it's hard to recreate it sometimes when you get a perfect yeah. take. Yeah. And or your actors get pissed yeah. at you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You want to be able to be able to get to capture everything. <laughs> so I'm like, do not blow it. That's friggin' hilarious. And so I made. Uh, I made a sort of a pact on Night Patrol because I had so many comedians. I said, no one can laugh. No <laughs> laughing. <laughs> when we're Which filming. For 50 plus comedians, yes. I'm sure, yeah. is this not is a, a no problem laughing at all. Right? really hard because they were friggin' hilarious. And, and they, but they want and the crew to laugh. They want, this yeah. is the problem. They want that immediate gratification. That's yeah. the worst that can happen because what happens is they stop trying to make the director happy. And they start trying to entertain the crew. Yeah. Right. And then when that happens, they're just listening for laughs. And it's like, again, and we've got to get this. We're making a film yes. here. Yeah. And a lot of comedies that happens too, and it ruins the comedy. You can mm -hmm. tell, right? Yeah, you can tell. I yeah. can tell immediately when they're playing to the crew and the director didn't you know, get the best take or the best, get it in the camera. Because really, I have a super critical eye. That's why when people say, oh, Night Patrol, you had so much fun making it. I had to have a super critical eye to see if it was funny or not. Yeah. Of course. You know, it's yeah. funny is like so subjective and it's like if you didn't make me laugh, I'm the one that has to laugh. Mm -hmm. um, not, you know, the whole, right. you know, so it's important. Not the grip standing over to the side there yeah. watching. Yeah. This right. is not for you. <laughs> right, right. Not the guy making the cream cheese and the bagels. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> make me laugh and then I, I know I've got it, you know. Right. Yeah. That's, um, so that's one of the tricks of Night Patrol. But it, but it works because I'm very happy that everyone thought it was so much fun to make. Because it means the film's working as a comedy. Right. Yeah. So how about Blood Diner? Because there's, there's a lot of comedy in Blood Diner also. So funny. Whether it's intentional or it's just the over-the-top insanity <laughs> that is going on in it. It's the mm -hmm. over-the-top you know? insanity, constantly intentional. Because right. I think someone said I was one of the pioneers of horror comedy. There wasn't a lot of that or any of it I could prior. see that. It was always yes. straight Early horror. Okay. Yeah. Right straight now. horror. Think about it. Maybe afterwards you had scary movie or, you know, they were there intentionally trying to be funny, right. less yeah. scary. But really, all horror at that time was completely, yeah. was completely serious. serious. Yeah. So, and, and mine is like a 
a tale. It's not terribly scary per se, but it certainly falls into the horror genre. But it was the first peppered with this kind of humor, you know, uh, where I was, you know, making people laugh while yeah. telling yeah. the story. It's like because everyone's in on the joke yeah. kind of feeling. Right. Right. Yeah. It was a it was a, a way of bringing drawing you in to the story. Yeah. Yeah. You know, to, so that's humorous, like the mom going out for tampons. <laughs> I, mean, you know. I mean, not that there's anything humorous about that, but it's still funny. It's just <laughs> what it plays out, it's funny. Like, yeah. It catches you off guard. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, Night Patrol, you were talking about this. Why was that guy speaking French at the beginning of the movie? <laughs> it's like, and people in the theater would go, oh my God, they must have put on the French version. No, no, oh my God, and, that's funny. Yeah, and, yeah, but it was the intention was to throw people off because let's face it, directing a movie, you're, you're, you're manipulating people's feelings. And you have to be conscious of that. It's not just, oh, I think I'll just do my own thing whenever I feel like it. It yeah. is actually, Hitchcock moves the camera for an intentional reaction. Mm -hmm. feeling a guttural kind of a, a visceral feeling so you know you want to get a f I, I don't get a movie where you just sit there and go oh that was a nice movie and it was like <laughs> what's the point <laughs> yeah what's the point it's like of an that? hour and a half of your right. life you'll never get back yeah I yeah. get pissed off <laughs> people do not want to see movies with me for that reason <laughs> <laughs> right because you got to fall on that oh, like, like you got to be moved. mad yeah and I would like walk out after 20 minutes you know if, wow. it, if it didn't hook me if it didn't get me I would say, okay, come on. How long is this? Twenty hooking? minutes is fair. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and um, that's it generous. I mean, something. <laughs> it doesn't have to be monumental. Just something that makes me want to watch it. You know, that makes me. You know, how long am I supposed to sit here? <laughs> right. Well, this end. Yeah. Right. So you know, that's why I think my films move a little fast. Don't you think? In a good way. In a good way. It's a yeah. clip. Yeah. 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 It's a good pace. Yeah. It's not like. Um, with Night Patrol especially, if that joke didn't get you, this one will. Exactly. It's right. like, that's so, okay, we won't dwell on it, we're going to keep going. Right, right. Yeah. And, and, and it worked. I mean, for the critic, the New York Times to say, this film made me laugh, I didn't want to laugh. <laughs> 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 I did not want to laugh, but it, it, the best compliment was consistently funny from beginning to end. Aww. Difficult with a comedy. Usually comedies start off really funny and then when they introduce the plot yeah, it dips. starts to yeah, yeah it starts to go down the comedy starts going downhill because they can't balance the plot introduction of the uh, exposition with the comedy. They can't make that funny for some reason. Mm. Usually. Okay. Even some and I won't name the comedians, it starts to go Straight they know downhill. who they are. Yeah, you know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> so, quick question for you, if I may. Me? No, for. for I was gonna say like I'm not. <laughs> quick question I'm for you. I'm asking the questions <laughs> here today. Um, so there, the uh, you don't shy away from nudity in yeah. your films. And you know what? And Let's I, talk about nudity for a moment. Please, can we please? Yes, because I gotta tell you, I was having naked women running around. <laughs> What the hell? Okay. The bottom line is this. <laughs> Naked gymnastics. No, no, no. <laughs> because that was the joke. Yeah. <laughs> the joke was, come on, and they were doing like, well, what can we do to one up? all the other people that are doing aerobics tapes. Well, we'll yeah. do the first nude aerobic tape. <laughs> right. And That's part of the joke. It's yeah. part of the joke, exactly. Yeah. And then we're going to shoot them all. And then we're going to shoot them all <laughs> with Reagan and Nancy uh, masks. <laughs> Oh, that was when the radio That's when they got mad. Oh, my God. Yes. The movie. I, I can almost, they, like, they hear didn't... middle America oh clutching God. their pearls. Like, <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no one had ever done that before. It was before Point Break, but did, a, like, a oh, mask. Yeah. Yeah, the, the and hours, it was yeah. like, they turned it off, and they, just, they said, this film has no socially redeeming <laughs> values <laughs> whatsoever. Yeah. And it, it seemed like the mask upset them more than the, the shooting. More than anything. More than the... Uh, more yeah, than the, the gun violence. More than the gun violence. More than the nudity. And come on, let's face it. The film has a a lot less nudity than an episode of Game of Thrones. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I've watched Some Game episodes. of Thrones. There, I think you have the title for most amount of uh, bare farts. breasts. Farts. No, bare boobs <laughs> in one shot. I mean, in doing one, a robot. God bless you for, for sure. it. You know <laughs> what? I felt for those girls because yeah. doing aerobics nude is not. <laughs> It's so painful. Yeah. I mean, you're bouncing around, and I'm thinking, okay, we've got to get this in one take because I don't want these girls bouncing around right. too yeah. much. You but know? My, so my, what I'm wondering, and then you have the, so this, um, is the, this is the draw for sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
have oh, this not, is Blood Diner. You have not this is Blood Diner. Diner. Blood Diner. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I only so, have one nude shot in Night Patrol. In my Blood Diner yeah. tape, that's the part that starts to get really fuzzy because it got paused a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> in this but, this very tape this is, right here. <laughs> Ew, I know if you like I'm like ah. <laughs> So okay, and then there's a cave scene also, of course, which is awesome because yes. the gal is naked, but fully she kicks naked. ass before no, the you know fully naked, yeah. and full pubic hair. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's call it what it is. People go, wow, the whole bush. <laughs> I'm going, what the hell are you looking at here? She's gonna be like I don't know, I can't give it away, but she's about to you be can, say she's it. about to be killed by the serial one of the brothers and and it, what I tried to do with it is, uh, as I was trying to trick the audience a little, where you would yeah. think that this is an easy kill. Because you've seen this. You're yes. like, I've seen this movie. Yeah, you know, you've seen this. Go. She's yeah. naked, couldn't be more vulnerable than a naked female. Right. All right? I mean, you, she's got no weapon. She still doesn't even have a pair of boots on to kick him. <laughs> she has nothing on. And what does she do? She karate chops the shit out of him. It's amazing. <laughs> right? And it's nobody amazing. expects it. Yeah. And and um, that's the turn. Yeah. And that's where the audience goes, oh my God, what is going on here? Yeah. Yeah. And then And all the and all the females are like, Good yes, girl. Finally. Yes. Yeah. Finally <laughs> yeah. fight, she's fighting back. Yeah. Then, but I remind people that the ultimate hero is a woman. I Ultimately, I, oh, yeah. I love the end of this movie. It like makes me. So, it's one of those when it's like you know and you've seen it, and then you're like waiting for it to happen. Mm -hmm. You're waiting for the ending shots because you're like, and oh, she's I going love this off ending. into the night. Yeah, she's down Hollywood <laughs> Boulevard through the red light. <laughs> through the red light with yeah. a horny, hot and bothered. And it's like, oh, it's like, bro, you have no idea. You yeah. just picked up a literal goddess in your car. In fact, and yeah. and you already know in your mind what's going to happen to him. Oh, exactly. You don't even have yeah, to. Yeah, you're like, uh, bye. I don't have yeah. to show it. And this is one of the whole tricks also. You don't, don't need show to show everything. it. Yeah. You don't need to show it. Yeah. Your imagination is much more, can create something much worse than what I could film. <laughs> Even so though whatever's going to happen to that guy. We all love to see that douchebag <laughs> kind of get. But, it's, but it is better in your mind to be yeah. like, oh, I know she just. That's mm. right. She's going to eat him up and spit him out. And <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so what? What did someone that? say? That's, a, that's the fun part? That's the fun it? part. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, do we have time for a game? You know what I'm thinking we should do is take a little quick little uh, break. Station identification, if you will. Oh, and then okay. come back. Then come back and um, uh, yeah, subject Jackie to a little speed round. Oh, what is that? Yeah. Speed eight balls. <laughs> We're gonna do an eight ball. Round. Yeah. <laughs> do I need a, like another shot for that? Um, you finish no. your first one. <laughs> okay. The speed you will be just good. Okay. I might not have any answers, but I'll try. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. fine. We'll be, okay. we'll be right back after this break. Hey, baby. Right before I stick my big sausage in you, what do they call you? They call me Sheetar. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for uh, staying tuned. <laughs> we're having a good time. I think we're drinking too much whiskey and wine. But no, nah, Jackie, are you ready for the speed round? N no, I'm not ready. <laughs> oh, no! But, I'll, but I will endure the speed, the speed round. round. You are ready. Speed round. And it's just, it's one of those, there's, there's not really a right or wrong answer. Well, there might be. There might be oh, wow, a right no or wrong. Wow, no pressure, okay. but there so are wrong So is it like an answers. opinion of mine? Am I yes, opinion? Yes, it's okay. like a... All right. We're going we're gonna to read you uh, a series of questions, and you're mm -hmm. going to give us your answer. Okay. I'm, and then... I'm, uh, I'm going to get serious. And then we'll see yeah. what happens. So. Oh, these are very serious questions, oh, okay. too. Yeah, right. very serious. Okay. Do you guys know the, the answers to this? No, they don't no. know. They, they don't, don't know. know the questions? No. Okay. So we came up with these. You're in the dark with me. And cue music. Speed round now. Okay. Jackie, your favorite Kong. King or donkey? Uh, Hong Kong. Oh! <laughs> that's, uh, I, no, I like that. That was... Uh, I say that's a win. <laughs> that was more of the... Oh, okay. <laughs> Caleb yeah, gives you a ding! Yeah. That's, that's okay. Thank you, Caleb. Okay. okay. Who wins in a battle? Godzilla or King Kong? Of course, King Kong. But I like Godzilla. I think Godzilla's yeah. very sweet. Yeah, I'll give, the, give you that one. Especially the first one. 
when he's like cross-eyed. Oh, I the, know. And they would like throw him into the scene. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yes. Was, they didn't have that stuff worked out yet. Yeah. Right. Very campy. It was super funny. Yeah. Right, you read the next one too. Okay. Right? If animals could talk, which animal would be the most polite? Pass. <laughs> no, there's no pass. No. <laughs> you can ask Lewis. You can ask Lewis. Yeah, which Lewis? Which animal would be the most polite? Hamster. The, the crane. The crane Damn. would be the most polite. Mm, I love that answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So you get a dig. He's on my team. Okay. Yeah, you get okay, that so point. Get that yeah. Okay. Keep going. You're doing good. Okay. okay. Like, give me the phone. Take your okay. What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen in someone else's home? Oh, God. That is a good question. Is there a title on this thing? No, we can edit no. the heck out of it. Yeah. So. Uh, weirdest thing I've seen in someone's home. Like, I have a collection of ventriloquist dummies. People hate my dummies. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, they get, but can, they don't want to say use, it. Can I use that in my next video? <laughs> People don't want to say. Seriously, I need dolls, and I need, like, for oh, that yeah. seed thing. People okay. don't want to say they hate my dummies, because they're afraid the dummies can tear them. I really don't know what they're afraid of. It's the whole vibe. I think probably me. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, yes! yes. <laughs> OK, final question. <laughs> Hong Kong. Yes. Better or worse since the British left? Oh, um, better since the British left. That's true. Yeah, yeah. 100%. The yeah. food got much better since the British left. Yeah. Four out of five, correct. That's a B. You mean that's it? That's it? That's See? it. You didn't have anything to be. Do you wow. want us to keep going? Do yeah, you want more yeah, questions? Yeah, I want more questions you want now. More? Okay, not, okay, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, okay. Now, now it's on more. you. You gotta think of questions. <laughs> no, <Why> <laughs> I had more and they left. I, I know, came up with too. so many earlier. Um, okay, I have a question for you, Neil. What's the weirdest thing you've seen in someone's house? Um, a couple of dummies. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's my. I have three. Three dummies. I can't believe you forgot about one of them. I'm sorry. I didn't th think about Scott. So. Are, they, wait, <laughs> are they life size? No, they're small. Oh, they're small. Yeah. yeah. I wish I had a life size dummy. Oh she my does. god. She does wish, wish that. Oh man, oh. the nightmares that would come from that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So, Jackie, please tell us where can uh, our viewers and listeners find out more about you and ah, where you're okay. going to be and upcoming projects, anything? Well, they can go to my website okay. or my Facebook. And the website's easier JackieKongDirector.com. Jackie Kong. That'll be here. Jackie Kong Director. Dot com on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, or they can go to my Facebook. But I try to list all the events, all the press, all the current press, on the website. So you'll hear more about the show once I'm able to explain what it is on my website. But okay. right now it's under wraps. And then of course uh, people don't know maybe about us, but we actually have the cult film series where we showed your films yesterday mm -hmm. uh, in yes. fact where they can find us in downtown Santa Rosa at the Roxy uh, upstairs where we actually show movies yeah is it every Thursday night every, every other Thursday every other really Thursday. so look it up online as the cult show uh, cult well yeah the cult film series the cult mm -hmm. film series and right which you can find uh, you on can Facebook and on Instagram. Instagram and Twitter and then of course this show which is the cult Show, I can't even keep it straight anymore. <laughs> the cult show. It's not a good sign. <laughs> which we have uh, Instagram. Oh, yeah. And we have the Twitters, and we have um, uh, the, the pigeons that go out and do their, right? Yeah, yeah. Sort of what's going on. The smoke yeah. signals. What, what pigeons? Smoke signals. signals. Oh, you've got yeah. all that. All they have it all. The high tech stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Very yeah. high tech. So, yeah, so please go find us as well so we can uh, talk And you can, to like, you. meet us live in person on these. Mm. And yeah. at the cult show, you're always the cult the show. Cult we're there. Yeah, yeah, and the series. We are always they can come there. And usually, you do the Q and A at the. Uh, if we have a filmmaker. If you have a filmmaker. Otherwise, we do a, we do um, an intro oh, for the okay. film. Yeah. Yeah. No, you curate really good films, really fun. So uh, definitely try to hit the the cult series here at the Roxy. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. And now I, I yeah. guess I'm going back to the. Uh, Catacombs of Santa Rosa. Now we'll find no. my way back up to the surface. <laughs> so we'll we'll, we'll 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 put a little tag in your ear, and then we'll okay. release you back to the wild. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then we'll see where you end up. Okay, good. We'll, we'll, tra we'll track. We'll track her in real time. We'll track her on our, our Apple watches. We'll be like, oh, she made it. That's yeah. right. Well, I'm glad I found you down here. Thank you for coming. Yes, and, uh, thank you. It was a pleasure, really. 
thank you. Uh, it was a hoot. Honor. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, it was an honor. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Jackie, yeah. thank you. Jackie. And uh, on behalf of all women, <laughs> okay. thank you for what you have done. Seriously, though, for oh. uh, breaking that glass roof. And uh, as much as there's, there's a lot more work to do. Yeah. But well, because of you, deal. I think we've made some progress. Well, thanks. I you hope know? so. I yeah. hope so. And we'll keep plugging away. Yeah, and for sure. Doing unique things that show that we are very good at what we do. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and I think it's important. I mean, you can't. Get, main thing is keep at it. Keep don't tr give up. Don't give up. And this is the. It's so easy to give up on tr on trying because you hit so many obstacles. But uh, it's. I have. You know. It's important to be tenacious. And um, and that'll be the difference. You just don't go away when you hit those obstacles. And hopefully you are standing when it's all over. <laughs> 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 but that's what I try to do. So I'm glad to be here, and thank you for that. Absolutely. Yeah, I appreciate thank it. you very much. Thank you. All right. So, yeah, please check us out. Uh, and what, as Caleb always says, like and subscribe. Thanks again, everyone, Bye. for tuning in. We'll see you guys soon. Have a great night. Good night. Right. You're supposed to I'm rub supposed it on to... your gums, Neil. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. That's really good stuff. <laughs> I'm hot, bothered, and horny. <laughs>